Hi everybody, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to use the same code multiple times in Power Apps. Though we all know that Power Apps is a low code, no code application platform, we will have to write code or functions to implement data operations as per the business requirements. Today, I wanted to show you few of the scenarios where we will have to use the same code multiple times and how to organize the code at one place so that we will not have to worry if there is any business change from the user. The scenario here is I have a project release management system and the business logic is like this. I have a user where they want to schedule the release management. Most of the times they will save that as a draft and then they will come back and they'll resubmit it and once that is submitted it will go for a manager approval but if you clearly notice in both these two scenarios i am adding a new entry to the data source and that entry i am driving with the status column as draft or submitted which means that i am doing the same operation only one difference is the status field so let us see how to organize this kind of operations with effective code to ensure that my app is performant and I will be hassle free when there is a new change in the business requirement. I have logged into Power Apps Macro Portal. I have added two SharePoint lists as the data source and I have a collection. I'll show you what is that collection. Before that, let us see what is my schema for these two SharePoint lists. I have project name, module name, version, team lead, release notes, release date, and team members, and status, implementation status. Here, implementation status is where I am going to store whether it is going to be a draft status or submitted status. And this status is to show whether the release management is in progress or a new request or a completed release management. So what? I have created two status columns. And there is another SharePoint list wherein I am maintaining all my projects. The projects have the status is approved and pending for approval. This very same project, I am going to store it as my project name in release management list. I know we can as well create it as a lookup, but look what happens when I create project name as a lookup. When I try to create that as a lookup, I don't have a control to filter my projects wherein the status is only approved. I wanted to give the access to users to submit release management for only the approved projects. But if I create my project as a lookup to projects list, I cannot create my release management for only projects which are approved status. So what I have to give the project name as a single line of text rather than as a lookup field to the other list coming back to app i'm going to create a form to submit release management to the system i have created the form with all the required fields to submit or save the release management entry to sharepoint list wherein my project i have created as a drop down because I don't want the user to key in the project name, rather it should come as part of my projects list. So in order to ensure that I am creating a collection on app start as create collection, collection projects. What this will do is this will get me all the projects which are approved status. Now I will assign this collection to my drop down as collections dot project name this will give me all the approved projects as part of my drop down if i run this i will see all the approved projects wherein i have two projects i can see only those two projects as part of my drop down let us add the code to add the release entry as a draft how we can do that is patch defaults 
release management followed by all my columns the first one is project name which is going to be drop down list project name dot selected project name so on and so forth if you see the end syntax to add a new entry as draft is like this here i am adding all my required fields along with that i am adding the status as new and implementation status as draft because here i am adding my entry as a draft when i go back draft sample the module name is uh, module 1 now if i click on save icon it will store my entry as a draft now if i go back to the data source i can see my implementation status as draft which is nice i am able to add a new entry with the status as draft if i have to submit a new entry with the status as submitted i will have to use the very same code only difference is submitted other than that i don't see any difference when i save it as a draft or submit for manager approval i see this entire code is a repetitive code and tomorrow if there is any new field to be added to the screen i'll have to change the code here and here also how we can address this is if i add a new variable as update context my variable as what is the operation if i create a variable with the value as submitted as part of submit on select event i can invoke my code as part of this icon from this button how i can do that is select of icon save as draft but if i invoke this code it will add the entry as a draft it will not add the entry as submitted how i can do that is if i can add a simple if condition as if var operation equal to submitted then the value is submitted if not my value is draft in this way i can ensure that the same code i am able to utilize in both the places let us see how it will work now if i submit my entry it has invoked the code behind this save icon and it submitted a new entry to my list with the status as submitted since that we have not handled update in the same entry i see two entries as part of my list so in this way i can ensure that i have not rewritten the same code for adding one entry as the status as draft or submitted here tomorrow if user come back with a new entry to be added i can add a new entry all i need to do is i will go here update the code at one location so that both submit and draft work seamlessly this level of code reusability is at the screen level if i want to write code at one place and use across the app unfortunately this icon is not going to work how we can do that is we can add a toggle control on one screen add the code as part of on change of the toggle control what is the business case to implement a code at one location and use across the app is i am showing all the approved projects as part of this drop down imagine that user want to add a new project while submitting the release they will add a new project and that project should automatically come here i have created one more screen to add a new project let us go ahead and add a new project here now i say add it is added now if i go back and see my data source i have a new entry here in the project if i see i don't have my 
newly added project because the collection which I have associated with this getting created on app start if I remove this from here and add it as part of on change and for the toggle control I have a property called default let us say where execute code what I will hold as part of this execute code is a flag to switch my toggle control how I will do is on app start what I will do now is as if it is true I am converting it as false if it is false I am converting it to true but how I will invoke this code as soon as I add a new entry is I will come here and I am simply toggling my control I have on change I am rebuilding my collection now I'm adding a new project with the name as dust allocation automation and with the status as approved as soon as I click on add if I come back and see my value in the collection is now four records because and also if you notice my toggle control moved from false to true because I am setting my flag value from true to false and false to true now if I come here and see I can see all my approved projects this way I can add a code in one screen and invoke that code from across my application I hope this will help you to implement your app in more efficient way and a performant way so that you will not have to change the code again and again today's development tip is when you add a date picker control most of the times user want to see the value as blank but as soon as you add a date picker the default value is today though you remove today and play the app you will see some value as part of the date picker control because that is a mask default text mask how I can get rid of this value is go to advanced settings say input as part of this input text placeholder they have a formula to show the default value remove that boom I don't have any value this is one of the ticket I have seen many many times as part of this power apps community portal so I thought it will be a good tip for all the developers while they are adding the date field as part of their screen if you like this video hit like add your comment and subscribe to my channel for all future notifications this is my contact information I am highly available on Twitter and LinkedIn if you have any questions feel free to connect me on LinkedIn and Twitter have a nice day thank you bye bye